All right, everybody, how are we doing today? Good, okay, great. <laughs> I have a couple of speed builds that I actually wanna show you guys from the very last builds of my island, yes. Tiny Town is, I hate to say it, but it's done, it's complete. We have norm cored it up for the last couple of weeks. It's been such a fabulous journey. And instead of doing separate videos for these builds, I figured I would just throw them in the same video, call it a day. So we're gonna sit and we're gonna watch these speed builds and um, hang out, you know, do a little chit chat. Maybe some hot goss is on the table. I don't know, let's talk about it. Forgive me, everybody, but this first build is very convoluted and very confusing. I'll try to like describe what I'm doing as we go, but it's a very complicated build and it took me a couple of days and I even worked on it like during stream and stuff. It's just a hot mess express. So we have that like big obnoxious <laughs> stepping stone path leading to the museum, which is actually ruining my life, low key. It's um very annoying to traverse, but that's kind of the point. It is what it is. <laughs> so then we have a left side and a right side of this museum thing and the right side I had already made like a little sand rock garden like a zen garden but I didn't have like a ton of room so I decided to just keep it really simple on the right side with that stone rock garden that's already established and then the left side I wanted to add like the actual real life rock garden using the in-game rocks and then I didn't know what to put on top of it and I had this huge area and I thought why not do a little excavation site. I figured, you know, it's a great way to take up like a buttload of space, which is what I had. And it's a very cute build and I really enjoy seeing them. So I thought, hey, we're gonna go for it. I just didn't know for the first like three quarters of this build how exactly I wanted to lay it out. So I do a lot of things that are questionable at best. I just didn't know exactly what direction I wanted to go with the excavation site. You'll see I have like two little holes that I make. I make some holes and I end up putting path like all around them and I thought like, ugh, it's just so ugly, I don't know. But at the time I was so gung-ho about this and I thought that it looked pretty good. I couldn't make it work. Like it just felt really crowded and weird for the space. I choose to pretend to not see it. It's confusing, it's a hot mess, um, but you'll see where I think like, oh my God, this isn't gonna fly. And then where I'm like, okay, let's fix this. How are we gonna make this work? Okay, so Normcore Island is done. Let's talk about it. So Normcore Island has been um, sort of therapeutic, <laughs> but I think that working on an island that I felt really passionate about, along with this whole trying to play the game like in a, just a simpler way and not be so concerned with the aesthetics of it all, has really helped me enjoy playing Animal Crossing again, which honestly helps me a lot in my real life too. <laughs> Animal Crossing is one of my favorite games, so I really enjoy being able to pick it up and play it without having to like either a feel obligated because I you know create Animal Crossing content. I would tend to want to create islands that were like way out of my wheelhouse that I thought were really really cool but I had a hard time really getting into the game once I started trying to accomplish these like really big complicated themes so you know sometimes you just gotta let go you gotta let God make a really simple island that isn't going to make your brain hurt. Okay let's talk about this rock garden while we are here. So I put the little squiggly lines in the sand because I thought it would be really pretty and I decided to make the rock garden during stream because I was sitting there and we were just chit-chatting, you know, talking about whatever we do during stream. Twitch.tv slash girl. But with the rock garden, I thought, wow, this is the perfect time to do it because by the time that I had streamed, this build was all completely done and I realized that every single space in my island was taken up. So that's kind of how I've always decorated my islands using that little transparent tile for this island, I decided to put that basically all around my island because at the end of the day, like I had weeds and flowers kind of all over and I was using the transparent tile to suppress the growth of both of those things. And so I was sitting there, I was like, wow, there's really not a lot of places on my island that are uncovered. I recommend waiting until the very last thing to do the rock garden. Make that the very, very last build that you do on your island because, because I didn't have to place a single mannequin, okay? But that's also just how I decorate is because like everything on my island was pretty much covered whether you could see it or not. So it worked out. I'll have to show you guys the final final with the rock garden. Mm, I'm, I don't know. I haven't fully edited this video so I don't know if I'm gonna go back and take footage of this build with the finished 
finished rock garden or if I'm gonna make you wait for the tour. Mm, we'll see, I don't know. <laughs> I don't wanna get too ahead of myself here and show off all of my secrets before I have a full tour video, like geez. But the excavation site did take several days, um, so I'm sure some of you guys saw it during stream, but it ended up being really dope. It's one of my favorites. Okay, I do wanna talk about real quick this whole remodel that I did. So I woke up one day and I chose violence. I really did. I decided that I hated the excavation site build. I was like, this isn't gonna fly, I don't like like it let's try to do something else so I decided I wanted to do like this little land bridge in the middle of it um just to be quirky and cool there's really no rhyme or reason I just kind of thought like it just feels bad it feels bad and I don't like how it's laid out and I didn't like how the pathing looked so I'm like let's just try to go um into a different journey here we're making new things happen and I am obsessed with how it turned out I'm so glad that I went back and I redid it because I'm like this is my favorite excavation site that I've ever even seen. Not to toot my own horn a little bit too much, but I think it's really cute. I love this whole like outdoor table aesthetic. I think that's literally like my aesthetic now is just the uncustomized outdoor table and um, various things like outdoor bench. I love them can't help myself but we'll see if I decide to put in a final of this build I'm not gonna lie I kind of feel like keeping it a big old secret from you guys but I don't know I don't know if I'm going to be annoying or not the second build and the last one it's the last one i can't believe it but this next build is actually the graveyard i've been hyping this one up this build was actually suggested to us during stream by one of our lovely amazing twitch subs shout out april but i thought this was such a cool idea at first i was like i don't know if a graveyard is gonna fit in with my island theme because it's not like i'm doing anything spooky and then i thought like hey there's graveyards just that exist in the world i used to drive by one every day on my way to work it didn't like really register stir to me that you know there were bodies in there and then I remembered yeah graveyards just exist everywhere everywhere <laughs> so yeah um I thought it would be just like a cute fun little build to add into my little town I was really dedicated to this graveyard idea I actually went on Pinterest and I saw that people were making graveyards for their villagers that they like either kicked from the island didn't like you know stuff like that so I thought it was appropriate to do graves for um some villagers. The first villager that I wanted to make a grave for was Miss Julia. See, with Julia, she just stayed on my island, my very, very first island for way too long. She was one of the very first villagers that I got on my very first island and the last to leave out of that group. Very, very annoying. The second villager I have is Chatter and that's just because I thought it would be funny. I don't even have anything against Chatter. I've literally never had him, but okay. And the last one is Rocket and you guys already know I don't like Rocket. She was one of my first starters, my sisterly villager. She would not leave for forever. I hated her. I never talked to her and she never ever wanted to leave. Oh, it drove me freaking nutso. And this was during a time when I wasn't really like time traveling in the game. So like every day I would hop on and she would just be there just existing. Oh, it drove me nuts. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Um, today was great. We actually got things done. This was the last speed build of Normcore Island. <laughs> It's so sad. But we're on to bigger and better things. We're gonna do basically just like a fall version of just very simple, normal town fall normcore christian girl autumn up in here so um join us on twitch if you would like to come and hang out with us while we work on that island twitch.tv slash finesse cross girl also if you'd like to come be a part of our community in the discord feel free it's lots of fun in there in my last video we talked about some unpopular opinions in animal crossing my socials are down below but thanks guys for uh hanging out with me today i hope you're having a lovely day and i hope that you continue to do so and I will talk to you guys in the next one.